Hey Aquarius, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading. These are general readings, so we're going to take what works. We're going to leave what doesn't, as with everything in life. And if I don't catch your wavelength or storyline on this one, go check your other major placements. We're starting, of course, as usual, with my Oracle deck, uh, Moonology, and Work Your Light. And then we're going to move on to my brand new deck by Catherine Wellstein, The Tarot of Mystical Moments. So we're used to me using the um, Oracle Mystical Moments, but she recently came out with a tarot deck and I'm crazy about it. Oh, that's so funny. This card just popped out in a personal reading. So, alrighty. Well, one more go. Let's see if there is anything else. Anything else you wanted to say? Okay. All right, Aquarius, what do we have here? Ooh, uh, a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. This is the one that just came out in a personal reading. Um, so I don't know, something exciting happening. Something uh, very interesting is how I like to think of it. Something, a really interesting thing going on here. A fiery climax approaches. And then we have align your life what is not aligned or needs to be changed. So there's something here that needs some shifting, some shifting a perspective, a situation that needs to shift a little bit that isn't quite mm, right. So needing to align that. Oh my gosh, Jack is like my cat, Jack. He's drawn to this table like a moth to a flame but he can't he likes the energy of the table here but he cannot handle it and he tends to behave very badly when he's up here all right aquarius thanks what is going on here this is your past your present your inner landscape what's the issue your environment your to-do list and your possible outcome. Okay. All right, in your recent past, we have Ace of Swords. So we have beginning to understand, just starting to open, starting to explore some sort of idea, some sort of concept, or even communication. Unlocking some ideas, opening up. Here we, um, did I show it to you already? So we have the, um, the spiral, the snail shell, the symbol of, of growth, of repeated patterns of, um, because we all are going to have sort of themes to our lives and things that we deal with again and again and again. And our hope is that every time we come back to that same topic, we've grown, we've learned how to deal with it, we've matured, we understand more, we understand more clearly what it is that we're dealing with and how we can best um, deal with it and maybe new ways of dealing with the situation jack fascinating um so i guess this is this is in his worst behavior he's not biting me that's great so ace of swords this is the pure intention an epiphany a clear sudden understanding an epiphany that opens something up opens up some growth opens up some clarity um and it could also be a, a new communication came in clarifying some things bringing some things to light um, and helping you to see and understand something with there's a lot of clarity both in thought and in speech with the ace of swords an intention um has been set an idea has been grasped a concept understood uh possibly a, suddenly um maybe not quite so suddenly okay don't kick all my cards off all right um in your current situation you have the hermit <laughs> that's what everybody is right now the hermit um so that's you know uh, isolation but it's isolation when we're looking at our own North Star. We're thinking about navigating, how to navigate our life. We're thinking about communication, um, but we're not doing it. There may have been communication in our recent past, clarifying communication, or at least um, an intention or an idea or an unlocking of a concept. Um, I always love that sensation. I think that's one of my favorite sensations is, um, is when the there's a big old connection or synapse in my brain where it's like oh my gosh I understand it's 
I love that. So that's in your recent past, but now there's like, a, okay, well, what do I do with this? Or there's not a lot of communication, but there's an attempt to understand, um, an attempt for clarity here of what does this mean? What did this, um, and, and how do I integrate it into my life? But you're not really asking a lot of other people. You're sort of in here by yourself. Um, thinking uh, and exploring and, and understanding um, your own light and, and what you're, how you're going to integrate this, how you want to talk about this, how, how this is going to bring you guidance going forward. Um, yeah, uh, the hermit is all about looking at... This hermit's got like quite the vision here, quite a, quite a long reaching vision. Typically I see the hermit as just seeing things like step by step. We can't see very clearly into our future, but this is, I think more about like an inner guidance system and taking some time out and time away, um, to check in with your inner guidance system and to see what makes sense for you personally right now, right here. Um, your hope is the star card. Oh, I was just thinking about this, these, these moments in our lives that just um, help us feel like we're on the right path and, and that we're, we haven't missed the boat and we didn't, we're not lost here, but we're, because it is so much of it is so, of life is so much bumbling in the dark, trying to figure things out on the fly that we can all feel a little lost and a little like, I don't think I'm doing this right. But this star card, this is your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape. You're really hoping for some sort of sign, some sort of information that you're on the right track you're on the right trail um, maybe even some recognition or something for for something you've done uh, for the work that you have put in and for the understandings that you you have gained or f for you may be, you may be looking to to wanting to be well known for the work that you do um, you know you're trying to figure out what your next steps are um, but your hope is is for some sort of recognition I almost feel like this is often, to me, a cheerleader of the universe, um, a hope for the cheerleader to come in and tell you, yes, you're going in the right direction. Yes, this is right. So I think you're hoping for some sort of either recognition or recognition, basically, that um, you're on the right path and you're doing the right thing. Uh, and it's this light. It's just really interesting. So that's the traditional reading of the star card. But here we have a fairy, like a fairy godmother coming in here to grant a wish. She's, she's looking to grant a wish. She's not, she's resting right now. Did I show you this card? I don't know what my, my brain's a little frazzled today, but there it is. So here's here's your fairy godmother looking for a moment to um, bless you. Uh, so that's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for some sort of blessing from the universe uh, to let you know um, that you are on the right path because you seem a little, a little sort of. Uh, you're looking to your inner light, um, but and that's that's great. But I, it's like you'd like some external validation here. Which is normal. This is normal. Wanting external validation. That doesn't seem weird to me. Although people will be like, oh, you should just be able to do this all and follow your own path and not care what other people think. And that just seems to forget about um, tens of thousands of years of human evolution as a, as a social group, as our survival based on inter our interconnectedness with other humans. Um, so you know, we do care what other people think and we do want that external validation. It's totally normal. It's part of our evolution. It's part of our history of survival. Do we need it quite so much today as we used to? No, but, um, but our, our inner mechanism hasn't caught up with that. So we still need validation for sure. It's a natural, normal part of being a human being. What's at issue here is Knight of Swords. There isn't any clear communication. Uh, that's why you're hoping for some sort of indication that you're on the right track because there has just been no communication whatsoever. There's some lack of clarity here. Um, it's this Knight of Swords would be bringing in communication and movement and cutting through the bullshit and cutting through the confusion and, and bringing uh, clarity. Um, I love how she's sort of like, normally we see a horse with these knights, but she's surfing on a feather, an idea, and she's um, 
she's communicating very clearly and slicing through the fog and the clouds and and able to get around any sort of questions and and lack of clarity but it's in the reverse so our issue right now one of the issues one of the many issues we probably have on our plate right now is a lack of communication a lack of clear communication um and it's not coming in um, in your environment, you have four of wands. There seems to be some sort of wedding or leveling up, a promotion, uh, something going on around you. It's got a really nice solid foundation and um, and the four of wands, that's our 1111 card. We call it an engagement card, um, but it's a milestone. It's a celebrated milestone. So someone around you might be having a wedding or an engagement um, or you or a promotion or something like that. There's some sort of milestone that's hit that recognizes all the work that's gone on before milestone. This is important. What we've done, we've reached some sort of situation here. That's good. Um, that we like and we like where we've what we've achieved and now we're committing for a future also so the, some kind of milestone anniversary something like that or promotion uh, going on in your environment it's it's a, a time of celebration um, and then your to-do list is this king of swords there's a lot of swords there's a lot of ideas a lot of thinking here in this in this reading your to-do list is this king of swords um, King of Swords sees very clearly. You may not have gotten the um, clear communication, but as you're, um, you, you had some sort of epiphany, uh, you're trying to integrate it into your life, some of this understanding, this clarity. Um, so this is you trying to figure out your next steps, how this understanding, um, how to integrate it into your life. Um, and uh, no, can't. You're sitting right on my cards. That will make them hard for me to see. Okay. Well, we'll just move them. I'm adaptable. That's my superpower. Um, so, uh, so here we have the Hermit card, and falling right underneath the Hermit card is King of Swords. You're to think very clearly, very fairly, though. Um, be very clear about what you think, what you believe. Um, a master of... Um, of, of thoughts, ideas, and communication. So you're waiting for communication. Okay, here, the energy is too much for him. Check. Oh, All right, Jack is now on the floor under the table, which I think is a little bit um, nicer for all of us, including him. I don't understand why he jumps on the table if he can't handle the energy here. He never can. He can for a minute, he enjoys it, and then he moves on. So like a moth to the flame, he just burns himself. Someday he'll figure it out that he, he doesn't actually like being, he's intrigued by what's going on here, but he doesn't actually want to be here. So your to-do list is King of Swords. So this is um, being mentally, um, this is mental clarity, communication clarity, um, but there's also a sense of agility, uh, being very mentally adept, uh, being able to handle the sword like an expert, you know, to leave it, um, leave it at its side when it needs to be at its side and then take it out as the situation needs but putting it back right away so um being very clear uh, clear-eyed communication um clear understanding uh quick mental agility um an ability to to quickly integrate new ideas and and turn them around and move them forward um just really uh, a king of a king of ideas a king of thoughts and communication and one one thing i i mean these cards are so ridiculously beautiful it's almost distracting for me but um one thing i really love about this card and how beautiful it is is we have these roses we have a, like a, a sense of connection to the spiritual and to the divine it's not just being smart and it, there's this sword present here. There's this, um, the bird representing communication and it's, there's been a lot of growth and a lot of blooming and, um, and it's, it's beautiful. There's, there's no harshness to the card, right? There's a lot of the swords have some harshness, some sharp edges to them, some pain in them. But this, this, uh, King of Swords is really, um, mastered that grown and it there's always a sense of balance with the king of swords the queen of swords can have just a little bit 
can be a little bit harshly direct, which has its place, its time and its place. Um, and it's just, she's just focused on her inner truth. But the King of Swords um, matches grace with um, clear cutting, um, I wanna say, um, clear thinking, uh, clear judgment, but it's always tempered with some grace and some softness and some gentleness. So, and I feel like this card really encapsulates the, the uh, gentle nature with which this king wields his swords, wields his clarity, his clear thoughts and his, um, his communication. There's always this tempered gentleness to it. So, you know, your to-do list is to be quick, agile, mentally agile, mentally quick, um, clear thinking, but also um, we're not just being judgmental and harsh with our thinking. We're, we're having the gentleness and the love and the grace come in and temper that a little bit. So, and I feel like this, this card just so beautifully like sums that up. Like, yeah, he's got his sword. Yeah, he's got his clear, quick, agile thoughts and his ability to, to communicate very clearly. But there's also just so much beauty overlaid. And it's just this beautiful combination of both of those things. So um, so in your hermit mode, I, you might be trying to figure out, like, how do you want to communicate something? You've, you've had this insight. You've had this idea and this clarity. And, and you're waiting on communication or there just hasn't been any clear communication. Um, and your to-do list is to communicate uh, very clearly, be very agile, adaptable, um, and uh, and um, and gentle with your with your judgments. Um, very prudent. Yet yeah, also quick. So uh, where you're going, a possible outcome here is the Hierophant. This is a very traditional uh, situation. This, uh, the Hierophant, depicted as this wise old owl, is here um, with the wisdom of the ages, passing it down to, to us. Um, so our institutions, I have a fraught uh, relationship with institutions, as do we all. Um, so, but it, in their kernel, they have, I mean, we've talked a little bit before about what has sustained uh, humanity in the past and and there are these traditions and there are these uh, traditional ideas um, that and that our institutions sort of can encapsulate some of the wisdom of the ages that has been passed down the road there can be a kernel within the institution um, an intent uh, as the institution was formed or whatever I'm talking you know government university um, uh, corporations there's 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 an intent there that we can honor um, and this is you might be taking a, a very traditional route here more traditional than you were expecting um, you, you're gonna need to be quick thinking on your feet uh, not too harsh not too judgmental but uh, agile thinking that's your to-do list and where you might end up or a possibility here is some very traditional maybe form of work maybe um, way of, of managing a relationship, um, accepting a, a traditional uh, arrangement or um, yeah, uh, being able to, to, to be a little more conventional. Yep, that's where you're going. Uh, that's a possible outcome is something something that's a little bit conventional. Something to consider at least. All right, and the wild Kwan Yin. Ooh, -wee, wild indeed. Spring fever going on here. Blessing bestowed. There is no end to the Divine Mother's ingenuity and grace. No obstacle can obstruct her generosity and protection. So get used to the feeling of the joy of knowing something truly precious is going to unfold in your life. Nurture that feeling like you would the readiness for spring in your heart. When winter is upon you, you know it is coming and you anticipate it with such pleasure. So something good to anticipate, something exciting, a blessing bestowed. I wonder if it has to do with this fiery climax here, which is interesting because we have the fiery climax, but we've got the hero font here of this traditional, more traditional way of doing something. So I always feel stodgy and brr with this card, but maybe it's going to be more exciting than that. Um, and aligning your life, things getting into more alignment. I feel like this could be relating to the star card here of you hoping for some sort of 
uh, recognition or help or, or the blessing bestowed. You're hoping for the blessing bestowed and it looks like it might be, um, but you're hoping for something to, to come into alignment here. Um, the overall energies, we have the Hermit, the Star, the Hierophant, those are our major arcana. So we have a time of isolation, trying to figure out what you want to do, uh, the way you want, what your inner, inner guidance system is telling you. Um, hoping for some sort of recognition or acknowledgement from the universe that you're on the right path and then a possibility of looking at something fairly traditional and institutional in your future. All right, so um, I hope that that was helpful Aquarius. Thank you so much and Happy New Year.